now. A one night crime spree targets a neighborhood breaking out car windows, steering columns and even stealing the cars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin McCarthy. 19's Michelle Nick spoke with some people who say something needs to be done. The Firestone Park neighborhood hit hard all in one night. Seven cars broken into, three of them stolen. So is it the Kia boys at it again, or is it teens turned criminal looking for a joyride? Akron police for now cannot say definitively that this is the work of the Kia boys. On Thursday, seven cars were damaged and broken into, three of them stolen. All Kias and Hondas, the crimes all in one night in the same Firestone Park neighborhood. Actions that seem to fit the Kia boys method of operation. Pamela Moss, who lives at an apartment complex on East Firestone Boulevard, says she was alerted that her parking lights were on by a neighbor. And that's when she discovered the problem was far more serious. I turned on my inside lights and that's when I noticed my ignition was gone, the top of the ignition, that was the part that was on the floor. Making matters worse, Moss says she didn't have just one Hyundai broken into and damaged, but two in the same night. The vandals triggered the car alarm and that got a neighbor's attention. She said, you sure you're not sitting on your keys? I said, no. The steering column was ripped out again, apparently thieves looking for a way to hotwire the car. It was on the floor again, so I looked back and I noticed that the window was busted out. Akron police told her their next call was for a stolen car on East Brookside, just yards away. In this case, Kyle Flannery had his Kia not only broken into, but stolen. I came outside and my car was gone at about like 8.30 at night and they just broke apart the uh, under carriage of uh, the ignition um, and basically found a way to hotwire the car. Flannery spotted the car days later, just a few streets away, parked in the yard of a home under renovation. So they just cruised around and then left it. Both victims likely left with around $1,200 or more in damage, plan to invest in a club to lock their steering wheels, but feel there are other issues contributing to the crimes, like surveillance cameras that don't work and dark parking lots. It's very dark at night. And a lot of the tenants have complained about it, and I feel like it needs to be lit up around here. As for Flannery, he says neighbors and police need to monitor the neighborhood far more closely. If people think that they can just come into these areas um, and take advantage of people who think they, you know, yeah. feel at home, then that definitely needs to be addressed. Akron police tell me in this case, each and every car broken into was locked. Reporting in Akron, Michelle Nix, 19 News.